September 4th. Happy September. We have definitely started to turn the season to fall. Had a few red maple leaves um, falling in the garden this week. Um, some of the plants are starting to slow down with the cooler temps at night. We're getting about down to the 50s. Had to close up the greenhouse most um, nights this week. So uh, coming out here this morning, I'm gonna open just the door at first on the greenhouse and then probably around 10 uh, or 11 this morning I will open up the sides of the greenhouse and we'll get going. Um, we've got about three pounds of beans that I've picked in the last few days that I need to deal with. I'll probably blanch and freeze those. We already got quite a bit of deli beans. Um, we've got some cucumbers to pickle this weekend. We've got tons of pesto to make, um, basil pesto. Um, that we will freeze and um, and then I need to actually pick a bunch of herbs and hang them to dry on our front porch so um, well, we have um, my parents are coming down this weekend so we've got some company so we'll see how much we can get done and go from there gardens doing pretty well um, tomatoes are still going I picked I have a whole drawer full of, of tomatoes. I've got, I think, probably about 15 pounds I need to make stuff with today. Um, they're definitely still going. Um, I really need, I thought I'd need to lower and lean this week, but like I said, there's, the growth is starting to slow down. Um, but I did clip all of these up. Um, some, I did lower and lean the back bed back here. Um, so there's a ton of tomatoes that are laying on the ground, which isn't ideal but the plants were too tall. Um, so I'm checking those. I, I'm kind of making sure that they, they're not getting over, um, uh, so that back bed has a lot of tomatoes on the bottom, um, because of the lower and lean, which is definitely not ideal. And I think that's the problem with growing the, um, tomatoes, this style in, um, we're doing using the lower and lean method in a short bed where I still want to be able to reach without a step ladder. Um, so, uh, but we, we are picking these. We're getting some quite often. Here's your little bit of fall um, coming into the gardens. I'm picking a lot of the onions. The necks are starting to fold over, um, as you can see here. Um, so I'm starting to pick these and dry them on a porch. Um, they're not as big as I'd hoped, but for my first year growing them, I'm pretty happy. Um, and they should store okay, um, but we're going through them so fast with um, all the salsas and sauces that we're making. More of the marigolds got hit with the Ida storm, with all the rain. I think um, in town they said that they got uh, four and a half or five inches of rain. So. That's always fun. Um, last week I clipped back the Cosmos and um, the Zinnias, and I think they look so much better. They're still, you know, not <laughs> amazing, um, but it seems silly for me to switch them out. So I'm gonna just let them keep going uh, as they are and not worry about them being, you know, perfect for, for the fall. Um, and just enjoy them as they are and, and let the pollinators enjoy them also. Um, the Mountain Magic and the Cherry Tomato are doing well here, um, keeping an eye on those. Um, the Beef Steak, I did end up pulling those as I was talking about last week. Um, so we are down to two plants over here. Um, and it, those are really prone to diseases, so it just wasn't worth it. Um, the Carrots are doing really well as well. So um, excited about those. Um, yeah. The dogs absolutely love them, so a lot of times I will use those as dog treats as well. For the most part, garden's doing really well. Um, we picked a lot of peppers this week again, and I still have a ton. Um, this is the fall garden that I planted. The lettuce, I, I split some out. I need to split more out. Um, you can see from the peppers, they're loaded. Um, not to get the shadow on here. 
Um, so I'm having a lot of fun dealing with those. Um, I've started pickling, uh, pickling them. Um, let's see, they're decent size. Um, and I picked probably another four pounds maybe this weekend. The cayennes are still doing really well. Um, been picking those most days. Um, a lot of the peppers over here are doing well. Uh, guajillos, I now dehydrated probably about, I don't know, close to two, two dozen, maybe 20, 18 to 20 maybe. Um, so that's been smelling the house really good. Um, and I've done a couple of the poblanas, uh, red poblanas to make anchos, which has been great. Here's some more zinnias. The um, squash beetles have been horrible. Um, so I trimmed this back a lot more so we can see them. Um, we did uh, remove all the flowers from the bottom of the area um, to make sure um, we weren't getting anything where the bees were, but we did put DE down um, to try to help with some of that. That does take a, a few days to actually work its magic. Um, but on top of that, we are picking off the squash bugs daily right now, um, trying to make sure that we can get our pumpkin and so a few more pickling cukes. Um, so you can see the fruit just doesn't, doesn't look good as they've been draining all the nutrients. So we'll see. Um, kind of knew that, knew that we were going to have some issues, but um, at least the, the pumpkin should be really close to ripe in the next few days. Um, and I do still, I'm getting some pickling cukes because of the amount I actually grew here. So as long as we can stay on top of it, we should be okay. Uh, beans are doing well. Um, this is a Anaheim over here. Got some poblanos. Our potatoes could use a little bit of help. <laughs> But I, at this point, I'm just going to let them do their thing, and we'll see. It's my first year really growing potatoes. I did pretty good on the in-bed ones um, for the first two batches, but I did pull them up early and get new potatoes. These ones we want to actually be full-sized potatoes for storing, um, but we may open, we may um, empty one out this weekend with my parents here, just to do a little check and um, see how they're doing. And the trellis looks much better from this angle. Um, over here, we are getting grape tomatoes now off of here, as well as in the greenhouse. Um, these guys are massive. I can't believe how fast they grow. Um, so these are the ones that I, I started from seed maybe like mid end of July um, to have some late late season tomatoes in case the other ones got all diseased, and I could put them you know decently away from the others. Um, here's another pumpkin coming in. There, so the same plant, um, just reaching over. I did pull out the large marigold here to give the squash some more chances. Um, these are also baby, uh, baby Pam pie pumpkins here and watermelon. Um, I really want to try to get a watermelon. And this is actually starting to take off a lot better um, than it was down in the field. And we are getting flowers now, which is great. But again, I'm, I'm having some bug issues that I have to watch. Um, and then here in the front are summer squash. Um, I'm trying to get some late summer squash. It's one of my favorite favorites, so we'll see how that works. But for the most part, the garden's still doing really well. We're harvesting a ton. Um, last week, uh, we did do the fertilizing. Um, probably do potentially some foliar feed um, this next week on the tomatoes and the squash and um, trying to keep those as healthy as possible. Healthier plants don't attract as many bugs. Um, so that's always a good, good rule of thumb. And um, probably try to plant this bed, that second half of the bed with the lettuce starts, transplant those out. Um, and again, I've got tons of basil and parsley and Mexican oregano and uh, even cilantro, I think, um, but a few other things that I need to dry. Um, and I don't even know if I'll do the cilantro because we don't actually like it very much, but we'll see. Um, 
but yeah, this is a lot, a lot going for an early September garden, which is always nice. Going in the greenhouse, it's already 80 degrees. I think it's like 65 out, normal temp. So another reason to uh, to have the greenhouse. Um, we are picking peppers constantly out of here right now. Um, also, the big beef tomatoes are doing really well. And we've got some of the Cherokee carbon. This has been a really slow starter, but I did have some plants here in the corner, some basil and onions and things, and I'm not sure if it was stunting the roots or something or cr being too crowded, um, but the Cherokee carbon is actually doing really much better now. Um, the spinach I planted last week, I think, um, is coming up, which is great. Uh, Lissom's doing well here. Um, this is that Thai chili that I bought from the farmer's market uh, a week and a half ago. Um, and then these are some of the zinnias that I need to move out of here, I think. Um, cause it's not like I'm going to attract pollinators in here. So I might move these over to the house garden. Um, and there's some parsley I need to cut and dry. Um, we've got a lot of peppers ripening right now. Um, so we've got seven pot primos, um, are, are the main super hot that's coming in. Um, but we've got, you know, these are the death spirals. Um, this is a reaper here. Um, we've got, uh, peri peris that are starting to ripe in Tabasco. We're still, oh, I lied. Tabasco is starting to ripe. Um, habaneros we're picking constantly. And these are the peach scotch bonnets. We picked a bunch yesterday from that. The Vitalis I'm still waiting on, ripening up. The back is a seven pot primo, peach scotch bonnet. Here's another grape tomato that we've been picking from this week and is really, again, taking off. Um, I did get that tied up, which was good. Um, this is the uh, yellow ties that got really eaten from the, um, this was, must have been the favorite of the, um, Horn, uh, tomato hornworm caterpillar, um, but there's some new growth coming in. Um, and again, it's beginning of September here. Our last, our first frost date, average first frost date is actually the end of September. I'm really hoping it's later than that. Um, but in here, we'll actually be, should be good again until right around November 1st. Um, the greenhouse really helps. And then we'll also include and add in some frost covers um, for those cold nights. Uh, and we're probably going to take the shade cloth off this weekend as we're getting into shorter days. Um, and that's a 40% shade cloth on the outside. So everything is going well. Um, the jalapenos, we've got a lot ripened uh, as well as some serranos too. So those will go on the smoker. Here's some more yellow ties. They're more like, or like an orange tie, I suppose. But I think they're called yellow ties. But overall, Greenhouse is doing well. I'm pretty happy with it. 